Hi everyone, Nick Chase here outside again to give you another outdoor highlight where I take you to some of the best outdoor recreation sites that Utah has to offer. And today I am very excited to introduce to you the brand new Bloods Lake Trail. This is a trail up in Park City and it was just recently opened. It features about a mile and a half of hiking and 300 feet of elevation gain. It also has a fun little surprise at the end at the Bloods Lake. So without further ado, let's go hit the trail. All right, everyone. Well, after hiking for a little while, I think I've got some great stuff to say about the Bloods Lake Trail. First off, I'd say the difficulty of the trail lands right in between easy and intermediate. The first three quarters of the trail is very flat and extremely casual and makes for a great walking pace. The ground is also incredibly flat. The trail management out here has done a great job of making it very accessible to most people. However, after that first flat part, the last quarter of the trail is a pretty steep and intense hike from there. You'll eventually hit a pretty large rock outcropping and that's when you know the trail is about to get more difficult. It follows some steep switchbacks for about a quarter to a half mile until you hit the beautiful and pristine lake area that's behind me. After that, you can do as much or as little as you want to walking around the lake or even hitting some of the trails that are connected to it. The trail management has also done an incredible job out here developing the trail, making it nice for everyone. There's nothing in the way and it is in incredible shape. And finally, as you can see behind me, the lake is also swimmer friendly. So you can swim around as much or as little as you want to. However, if you are going to swim, make sure you're a very good and confident swimmer as the lake gets very deep very quickly and it is very cold even this time of year. So rest assured, this is going to be an incredible hike if you come out here, but just make sure you get it while it's good and do it sooner than later. As far as the feel of the trail and the views, this place is so fantastic. The first thing that jumps out at you is how well covered the trail is. There are very few moments of exposure as the canopy is laid out almost over 90% of the entire trail. So while you still should put sunscreen on, just know you won't be in the sun with this one as much as other trails. The next thing that pops out after the foliage is the amount of wildflowers that are on the trail. There is an extreme abundance of wildflower species out here, and you pretty much see a new one every next segment of the trail. So make sure you make stops along the way in time to smell the flowers. The trail also offers some fantastic geology and some incredible rock outcroppings that you wouldn't know were here unless you did the trail. And being able to hike up them and see them in some very scenic spots is a total treat. And finally, the Bloods Lake is one of the most beautiful spots I think I've seen in Park City to date. The lake is very expansive, has a ton of spots for you to hang out and enjoy the views, and an awesome rope swing as well. With all that in mind, I think this is a great point to say I'm going to stop talking and go have some fun. Well, everyone, that is it for today's outdoor highlights. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this one just as much as I did. And I hope I've inspired you to come check out the Bloods Lake Trail and the amazing Bloods Lake. It's a great way to spend an afternoon and soak up some sun and some great cool water. Again, that's it for today's outdoor highlight. I'm Nick Chase, and we will see you on the next one.